I'm Reuben. Is it in focus? Uh, uh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay. Hi, I'm Reuben. And I'm Emily. And we are Trapeze. Um, we made um, the video for Sam James's album Sleep. We're going to enlighten you as to how we made some of the bits and how we failed at some of the bits. But we'll address those when we get to them. Yes. So. Um, Lowercase the, t. Sam was very insistent on that. <laughs> the first the first main issue we got was how do we fill in the introduction? It was originally a walk home, Sam walking from town to bed. It's kind of like watching paint dry a bit. Yeah. Um, then Ruben had the idea, because one of the criteria was making it similar to the rest of the film, but we didn't want to animate another 30 seconds of stuff and try and... So. At, at this point, we'd already been doing the video for about three months. We had. Ruben had the fantastic idea to just do it all but backwards. reverse backwards <laughs> and distorted. So um, we managed to fill about 20 seconds with the whole video in reverse. Mm. But it actually worked out quite nicely because when you get to um, the bit where Sam starts, you get this really nice bit where it's coming out and then it comes back in and then Sam starts going forwards, which is quite nice. So the next bit. The next bit, Sam's head and Spaghetti Man. Okay, th this was actually quite a bit harder than we initially anticipated. We tried so, to do a 3D model initially with pipe cleaners. We spent a day trying to craft a little man out of pipe cleaners, but it wasn't very manoeuvrable in the end. And he also got covered in... Um, spaghetti juice. Rather than using a physical animation on the meatballs itself, I used lots and lots of little models on paper. Oh, you should have kept examples. I have. Well, you have. I have. I'll go and get them. I'll, I'll go oh. and get them. Also, I realise I've been playing with this, which is going to make a racket. Stop doing that. Wait, what I did was I had lots and lots of different pieces of paper, uh, which I drew the um, bits. Uh, drew the bits of animation on, so there's a bit of him diving. All of the hand-drawn stuff was done on little pieces of cartridge paper with pen. And the reason that the man is there is he's the bit that ties all of the, all of the ideas together in the video. But they're all supposed to be dreams, and this figure is a consistent presence in all of the little mm. dreams. In one way or another. Yes. That's that bit. Yeah. I think, the spaghetti bit. Ahead a bit. We had... Uh, five people in the room. Oh, like four, sorry. We had three lamps um, and switches, and it the music kind of dictated when you turn the lights on. Like, so it went to the beat. So that took a lot of rehearsal, that bit. Sam was lying on the floor with the switch in his hand, and he would have to turn it on and off while he was singing uh, to the camera and moving his head and doing the choreo choreographed movement bit. Uh, so he actually did a really stonkingly good job, actually, of that. Mm. Um, okay. We good? Hang on. Good? Yeah. This bit is actually filmed on the floor. When we tried to do this in his bed, it didn't really work because you could see the floor underneath and it didn't mm. look quite as nice So um, from high up. So we actually filmed it on the floor and we tried to recreate what it looked like. Even to the point where we, there's a plank of wood behind the pillow to make it look like he's actually still in the bed. Oh, I never knew you didn't do it in the bed. No. That worked never, well. Never did it um, in the bed. That was my foot. Oh, right. Tomorrow. Above Sam's head was a strobe light. So we would turn it on uh, so when Sam get, Sam falls the face. Like, mm. ah, that face. But for Sam, Rosie and Rob who were underneath this. Oh, it was this in his face, wasn't it? Yeah, directly in his bright. face. Um, Sam says a little bit about it in the in his video, but um, watch here. We watch what people do isn't it? here. here. Hang around, would you? Just in case it happens again. Not quite sure where that cut off. So shall we talk we'll about the sheep, the sheep again. again? So, so the sheep bit is uh, my drawing because Ruben is a, quite good at drawing, and he drew the rest of it, and I had nothing to do for a week, so. I volunteered to do this bit and uh, for a week. It was something like that, wasn't it? We've had several painting experiences on this project, haven't we? Yeah. Several unused bits and yeah. whatnot, and it it kind of I... came, it, it it became apparent that we needed a bit more practice drawing. Mm. 
Well, you're when, quite good. Yeah. I think what uh, we've learned from this project is that I really can't draw. <laughs> so, so, but what we what we did to compensate for that was put it on a fridge. Yes. So it looked like a child's drawing. What we did was we t- I took a picture of our kitchen fridge, masked over the um, over some of the fridge magnets, so it looked like it was stuck to the fridge. Uh, what how would you describe masking? For anybody who's not done it Propping. before. So what it looks like is that you've got these frig ma- fridge magnets that sit on top of the video. But I, it's not a huge thing. But like when you look at the the fence, it's got shadows behind it. Uh, <laughs> in the wrong direction. In the wrong for direction the for the rest of the light. So yeah. that's how you can tell we did it like that. Yeah, I, but it's something well, that we'd think about. Because otherwise the light would be coming from the sun. And Yeah. You know, it, if for any of you eagle-eyed watchers out there, Shadow, I've, I've, I've seen, seen that, face. and you think that yes, we know. Oh, and there's the figure ripping out the sheep as well. We're Actually, it haven't. So, yeah, so um, this is a way to put that same figure in this bit of the dream because it's sort of in all other bits, mm, and he so, comes in and ruins it. The idea is um, that he's counting the sheep up. We decided on putting the man in, uh, ripping one of the sheep open, but it's only a little snippet. It's only about four frames. Four oh, a bit frames. longer than that. A bit less than a second. You just sort of see it for it and not quite sure what it is. And, and that startles you yeah. back into being awake, which then leads us into... Um... Rolling around restlessly in bed. Next bit. Sam was kind of using funny wordplay without mm. the meanings being there for anything. I think it was just like, I'm a liar, I'm a liar, I'm a liar, and I lie awake. Um, but I came. we came up with the suggestion of having three different things. Well, we came with the, finally with a liar being Pinocchio, because obviously the lying. Um, then we had the liar being a liar like the harp and then the lyre bird a bird that it repeats sound yes it's like um a little walking at a dictaphone mm. it, it works really nicely as an idea to transition into like the next bit the um sam flying with his lyre wings and his playing his lyre with his lyre nose so Again, this this was animals. a difficult bit this is all hand drawn uh, again, but well, there's the first draft of one under the bowl. And he spent ages drawing these, and then we bought some really cheap paint, and it ruined them a bit. <laughs> but here are a few of the rough. Um, the the I drew these and scanned them, so I had roughs and original copies, and then I painted them in very heavy duty grey paint, paint that we used to build the model we made for one video. Uh, out with a bang. Out with a bang. Which uh, there. And then black paint that we bought, I think, from Poundland and then just ran everywhere. Yeah, it but very watery. And ca- um, cartridge paper isn't very absorbent. Um, no. Which, Please. if you if you look at the if you look at the video, it's not actually too bad on the video because I oh we had them clamped down clamped books, for so. to get them to cut to kind of straighten back out. You can see that the paint ra- runs a bit. I spent a long time trying to make sure that the wings moved in a in a vaguely correct anatomical way that a mm. bird's wing would move. Um, other bits we can talk about. Sam, I can show you pictures of this now. We filmed him against a green screen and we wanted it to look like he was sort of a stock frame animation himself, sort of chunking along. And we took pictures and then when he was falling, he was lying on this green box and sort of flailing about in the middle of the room. Yeah. And then oh. that was a good bit actually. That actually looked really yeah, convincing. Um, um, the lyre he's holding here, I spent ages masking around each frame so it looked like his hand was over it, so it looked like he was holding it. Yeah. I the, hope you all appreciate that. Yeah, that it took, took a afternoon. long time. The the nose, Emily. Oh, the nose did. is easy enough. That just goes up. Just. <laughs> Um, hands, we haven't even oh, talked about the hands. This is the presence of the figure that might not be as obvious, mm, but the figure in this dream is the hands. Th- those... Did you photograph my hands and base it off? No, I did. No, no, I photographed your hands. Yeah, I um, got very complicated because trying to draw a, a, a real life hand is quite difficult, or I find it very difficult. So we only had the two frames of animation, 
And I think, did we just mirror them or are they two different hands? I can't remember, you know. Let's see. It took, um, oh yeah, no. Yeah, that's yeah. mirrored, isn't it? Yeah, yeah we mirrored. Just two. So, oh, um, no. this 10 second bit. This is the bit we spent the most time on. Is, definitely. yeah. But it, it looks, it's one of the best bits. So? This bit where Sam's falling, we used a green screen on a box. Mm. Uh, and then film Sam basically right, like, ugh, back on the bed to make it look like he just dropped onto it. Uh, this is a little bit that Sam contributed, um, mm, yes. which is that we kind of just had a bit where it was looking at Sam and he suggested making it into a letterbox kind of film. Really... I think the aspect ratio changed, mm. so it's narrower, and then in the next shot it, shot, it opens up again and just gives a bit of movement. This bit <laughs> was the bane of our lives, but this is the very first bit that I storyboarded. Mm. Um, as we will, I hope I I've, will show. You. I, we've got it's a few clips there. of it, but yeah. um, we had a meet. It we, <laughs> I had a meeting with Sam, and this is the very first bit that I drew out, and I knew I wanted this bit in the final video it initially started off being on a i i did a green screen used my diary which is a green file of facts and used some paper cutouts to make it look like he was walking across we did quite a lot of work on this bit didn't we um, um the background does oh you're going yes the background <laughs> i'm gonna get it oh no the background, we wanted it to sort of be mysterious and dreamy, so we tried to paint it, but as previously yeah, discussed, using, with the, using the cheap we're paint. not very good painters and we bought cheap paint and, and paper. And actually, I can show you the first draft, because I kept it, the one we filmed rolling past, and it looked a bit too much, Kiddie's drawing. -y. Right. You oh, the first that. bit's right, Ruben drew this bit. I drew this bit, so it's can great. Can you guess which bit I drew <laughs> with Rob? <laughs> it's all fine up to here, although I painted it and the paint's run. And we're in space. We're in space. And Drew really kept shouting, no, just do the background, but he's, that's the scene for So they drew so on drew flying saucers and, and meteorites, which is lovely, apart from they fly in different directions, well, which <laughs> we, we didn't happens. really consider at the time. And, and then we had a, a fish bit. And that's about it from there. Um, oh, and more, we've, they were even worse than this. I think we've thrown away. No, okay. no, no, no. I kept them all. Right. <laughs> this Rob... was our first Enchanted Forest. See what we were going it, for? Not it, really. Yeah. Um... It, that, I had no hand, hand in that. He just kept shouting, no, don't do any more butterflies. <laughs> <laughs> but they weren't quite what I had in mind. They're what... The bit we finally went with was some videos of the park, of Cannon Hill Park in Birmingham, um, just melded together in a surreal kind of a fashion. Um, How did you actually do that bit? I keyed it, so it only it picked a few colours and just made them see through, and then I put another video behind, so it's sort of... You know, you can see bits of one and bits of the other, and it's all... So... And then the little man appears again, running past. This is a repeat of the running man in the Don't first bit. That. Oh, no, it's fine. Oh. I think we can say that. <laughs> oh, actually, we haven't spoken about how we got Sam to... Oh, yeah, again, this is green screen, stop frame animation, so it's jerky, and mm. it's... Uh, we got, I, we got, I got that idea from uh, Pez Films. Ah. If I'm sure you're familiar with, but we'll link it to the video that I was mm. thinking of. Pez actually, rather than moving normally and then in, then kind of knitting stop frame animation into there in the video linked, it's the it's the it's, it's submarine where he makes a submarine sandwich. Mm. He actually they actually spend a lot of time stop motion capturing him moving frame by frame. So he, so he kind of fits into the world of being stop frame, which is why I wanted it to look like that uh, and not kind of Sam just walking normally because it kind of would have looked really weird and would have looked too natural, I think. So yes, that's where that idea came from. Thanks, bit. Oh, the heads. heads. So I can't remember how we came to this bit, but I know the reasoning behind... I know 
Was it just you wanted to, to look like Bohemian Rhapsody? Initially, yeah, yeah. Initially, it was Bohemian Rhapsody. But actually, what? So I asked Emily to come up with loads of different heads. Um, there were three vocal parts at this point, so yes. I did three heads, and then later on, more appear. Right? Yes, oh. but uh, the it, I'm going to link to a game, LSD Simulator. Oh right. LSD Simulator um, is basically a game where you walk around inside of this dreamlike state. Uh, touching things and then it sends you to other things and you see all these trippy bits and it points to the game you get these uh, heads that just appear and they come towards you and they're really eerie and weird and this kind of looks exactly like that and I thought that those kind of that dream bit and the, the kind of unsettling nightmarish yeah. bit kind of worked quite nicely this is the only section that hasn't got the little dream man in it. Mm. Why is that? Um, we tried putting the dream, the little white man in, the little white man, yeah. the little paper man in. We'll but go his with... head is just a circle, so mm. that looked a bit. So well, like a the, stick man. the idea was to try and sneak him in at some point, but mm. because there was already this kind of color palette of black, ginger, and pink, like the white mm. stuck out, a, a stuck, a stuck out a lot, didn't it? Mm. And it just kind of ruined the really effect. Work. It just didn't fit. And yeah. I, it's, the, it's the bit where I wish that we'd been able to fit him in, but I don't know how we would have done it. Beards, fuzzy hair. <laughs> Sam was, Sam's not built for keying very much, no, is he? I want a nice bald man. <laughs> <laughs> so Artificial sunrise. This actually worked <laughs> really so well. Right. That what well, that was ruining cinema magic was uh, Rob, <laughs> Rob with a cardboard box with one of our studio lamps, yeah. uh, one of those, and um, then not setting fire to anything, uh, moving the thing across, which gave the impression that the sun was coming in through the window. And then sun coming up over the city skyline, I kept saying, Ruben, do you fancy maybe putting the camera out the window when the sun goes down? And this happened for about a month and no one really got round to it. No, no and, one really uh, got round to it. So nicely, thought, nicely worded there. Ruben, do you mind doing it? Nobody well, got round to it. I have got quite so, a nice view of, of central Birmingham. Over the summer, so night happens at really com inconvenient times. Like, like what? When we're Eleven o'clock. Yeah. We, the you know we were filming it when because we were sundown. totally not going to get up for the actual sunrise because that's mad. So we thought we would go and do sunset and, and reverse, reverse it, it. and then, it just never happened. Did so it? I got some stock footage and it's fine. Yeah, it does the job, and actually it looks kind of like the sky that up from the middle bit in some ways. So, yeah. So yeah. also stock footage because we didn't go and film the sky. Sorry. Sorry, everybody. <laughs> and then, and then he's uh, waking up right at the end, ready for a day, bright um, and fresh. And weirdly, Sam looks looks like this every morning. He does. Um, In and fact, it, if, you if you watch his last video, video about he music, looks, it's exactly he's the just same. Just woken up. He came downstairs in his pajamas and went. Ugh. Uh, do you want to do the thing now? And he was like, uh, uh, so it, it's very realistic. Um, given that the album's about sleep, it's consistent. Yeah. I think with the theme. Um, so that that is what we mm. did with the video. If you if you like what we do, support us by following us, subscribing to our YouTube channel, uh, and considering uh, consider. And donating to our channel on Patreon, that'll be really useful for us, and also allow us to do other things for other people, which would be great. So, see you in the next video. Mm -hmm. Yes, and Cut. out. Oh, oh, oh! I can use the clapper board. You could. Where is it? I mean, I'll put it down here. Maybe it's downstairs. Oh, I always forget about it. Oh well. <laughs> oh well. <laughs>